The Shelburne Street Roundabout Project is a collaboration between the City of Burlington's Department of Public Works and the Vermont Agency of Transportation. Roundabouts, which are different from rotaries and traffic circles, are a one-way, non-signalized intersection where traffic moves in a counterclockwise direction around a central island. The four main components of a roundabout include a landscaped raised central island, a truck apron to allow large vehicles extra space for turning, a circulatory roadway where cars enter and exit, and splitter islands on the outside to reduce vehicle speeds upon entry and channel vehicles into the roundabout. Drivers approach the intersection slowly while scanning for pedestrians and bicyclists and yield to those waiting to cross the street. Drivers yield at the roundabout entry, giving right of way to approaching traffic inside the roundabout. Drivers inside the roundabout should never stop or yield the right of way to vehicles waiting to enter the roundabout. Drivers circle around until they reach their desired exit and use a turn signal to indicate their intention to vehicles waiting to enter the roundabout. If a driver misses their intended exit, the vehicle can circle the roundabout until they reach it again. As they exit, drivers scan for pedestrians and bicyclists and yield to those waiting to cross the street. If you are approaching the roundabout as an emergency vehicle approaches, allow them to proceed through the roundabout entirely before you enter. If you are in the roundabout when an emergency vehicle approaches, continue to your exit and after leaving the roundabout, move over to allow the emergency vehicle to pass. Do not stop within the roundabout. Navigating for pedestrians. Pedestrians will approach and navigate the intersection using the sidewalks and shared use paths. For those pedestrians seeking to cross the street, they should push the signal button to activate strobe lights that indicate to approaching drivers that there is someone prepared to use a crosswalk. Pedestrians should look in the direction of flowing vehicles until there is a gap in traffic or a vehicle yields to the pedestrian. Once it is safe, they can cross the street. Navigating for bicyclists. Bicyclists will approach and navigate the intersection using either the streets or shared use path when available, depending on their comfort level. For those bicyclists using the streets, they will navigate the intersection entirely as if they were a vehicle. The same rules for signaling and yielding right of way to pedestrians that apply to vehicles also apply to bicyclists. For those bicyclists using the street on approach to the roundabout but would rather use the sidewalks and shared use path to navigate the roundabout, the bicyclist will be able to exit the street using the paved bike ramps to enter the shared use path. At crosswalks, the bicyclist will follow the same rules as a pedestrian to cross the streets. After leaving the intersection, the bicyclist will then have the choice to return to the street using the provided bike ramps or remain on the sidewalks. For more information, please visit the project website or contact the project team. Thank you.